Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens needed to dig deep to mount a comeback against the Indianapolis Colts and with all their might they scored 16 points to force overtime and win the game, 31-25. After the first possession of the extra period the Ravens were down 25-9 with 12.04 remaining in the game. Jackson threw a 5-yard touchdown pass to Mark Andrews to cut the lead down to 8 points. On the next Colts drive Calais Campbell came up with a huge special teams play blocking Rodrigo Blankenship's kick to give Baltimore another chance. Baltimore Ravens quarterback Lamar Jackson throws the ball under pressure from Indianapolis Colts defensive tackle DeForest Buckner and defensive end Alquadin Muhammad during the first half of an NFL football game, Monday October 11, 2021. In Baltimore, Jackson led the Ravens down the field with 4.35 left in the game and threw a touchdown pass to Andrews to bring Baltimore within two points. Jackson and Andrews would convert the two-point conversion to at least get a chance to send the game into overtime. On the following drive, Carson Wentz threw a 23-yard pass to Paris Campbell to inch Indianapolis forward. Wentz set up Blankenship for the potential game-winning field goal but he missed from 47 yards out. Blankenship had missed two field goals and an extra point in the game at that point. Jackson would lead the Ravens on a 10-play, 68-yard drive and end it with a Marquise Brown touchdown to end the game. Jackson finished 37 for 43 with 442 passing yards and four touchdown passes. Andrews and Brown were both over 100 yards receiving. Andrews had 11 catches for 147 yards and two touchdowns. Brown had nine catches for 125 yards and two touchdowns. Devin DeVernay had four catches for 45 yards. Baltimore Ravens tight end Mark Andrews celebrates his touchdown during the second half of an NFL football game against the Indianapolis Colts, Monday, October 11, 2021, in Baltimore. While the Ravens didn't set a record with the most consecutive 100-yard rushing games, Jackson led the team on the ground with 62 yards on 14 carries. Even in the loss, Wentz had a terrific game. He was 25 for 35 with 402 passing yards and two touchdown passes. He just couldn't get the ball across the goal line in the fourth quarter. Indianapolis Colts quarterback Carson Wentz throws the ball under pressure from Baltimore Ravens nose tackle Brandon Williams during the first half of an NFL football game, Monday, October 11, 2021, in Baltimore. Jonathan Taylor had a big game. He had 53 rushing yards on 15 carries and a touchdown. He added three catches for 116 yards and a touchdown grab. Indianapolis Colts running back Jonathan Taylor celebrates his touchdown with his teammates during the second half of an NFL football game against the Baltimore Ravens, Monday, October 11, 2021, in Baltimore. Baltimore improved to 4 to 1 on the season. The Colts fell to 1 to 4. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.